everyone, Jack Ding here. Uh, we are at the new uh, PhD headquarters uh, that isn't very well lit, isn't very well ventilated, but it is, it is just a shed and it is our little, uh, little place to begin now. Um, first off, you'll know there's a few, you know, extra machines around the area that we can, you know, you guys know this one already, but that one is new. So we'll, we'll talk about that later. Uh, first off though, we got to build the Supra and a lot of the parts we have are finally here and uh, can't wait to get them all started. First off, we'll be installing a pair of new racing seats and harnesses. We'll talk about it a little bit with seat brackets and uh, all of the wheels and tires are remounted, uh, ready for action again. Don't mind our lunch. Tools are kind of a bit everywhere. Uh, we'll we might have to use some spacers to clear the uh, current suspensions with those set of tires, those set of wheels. SPL arms, the motorsport hardware uh, lug conversion kit, tow hook by race Eng, and that'll kind of be our job for uh, this weekend. Uh, and right after that, the car is going to TF, where they'll handle the rest of the suspension, co coilovers, alignment, so on and so forth. But uh, for us, we're just doing as much bolt-on stuff as we can, and we've already started, you know, removing bits from the trunk to try and uh, get the weight down again. I think we did a brief calculation. We might be able to shave up to about 150 to maybe 200 pounds on this one, uh, just on these kind of weight reduction stuff that we're doing. Yeah, we have, we have to pretty much figure out what's what. Really. Yes. It kind of says, ooh, it says so. What's G2 now, Titanium? G29 means uh, the, it's a su it's a Z4. Is this Lower a trailing arm. Oh, that has the uh, factory arm as a reference. Yeah, factory arm. Even colored. I know, SPL does great stuff. Nice, all right. Thank you, SPL, for coming on board for this project. Uh, for those who know, you know, does the tracking community, their stuff. It's truly quality. A lot of adjustability and uh, definitely really helps with us getting putting the power down to the ground and really keeping the wheels on the ground, really. So super happy. Thank you, SPL, for coming on board. And uh, can't wait to throw these bad boy on the car. Alex will be mainly taking care of the suspension part of this build. Uh, I'll be doing most of the uh, demolition, i.e. taking stuff out. This weekend is going to be fun. So at some point, you're going to show us the Evo, right? Sure. Rear end link. Nice. Mm. They nice. even have a lock on here to prevent it from coming loose and stuff. I really like that. Kind of looks oh, like rear it. upper upper rear arm. Upper arm. Okay. Toe arm? That looks like toe arm. Looks like it's rear toe arm. Maybe. maybe. Okay. Oh, we don't know what that is. That's for lower control because that's yeah. the ball joint part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, beefy boy. Look at that. This is well. Oh, look. They got the. They got the stuff for the, low, uh, the right hand sensor already. So uh, at least th now we won't be able to bend this one as easily, eh? <laughs> awesome. You don't know if you're watching. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, that's a long uh, rear toe. Rear toe? Yep. This is rear toe? This what's is rear toe. What's the other one? There's two rear upper arm, I think. Okay, that might be a rear upper arm. Yeah. Front trailing arm. Uh, the front tension Spherical arm. pushing. Yep. Yeah. It's nice. They give us a, like this is for adjusting the caster. I actually don't know how that works, but yeah. Oh. Okay. Need it. I think, yeah, I think I know what it is. There's a 3D printed bracket in here for adjusting, for that goes onto that piece right here. Mm -hmm. That can adjust where we can mount the uh, mount the, uh, the right hand sensor. This oh, end link? Yep, front oh, end link. shit, that's a big ass end link. Remember, remember the end link being as long as my, my forearm. Yeah, it is as long as the forearm. Now I'll start with removing most of what we did last time. Uh, since my part isn't very interesting, I'll just not really show you guys. Since if you want, you can just click on the upper right hand corner. There's a bit link to the video that we did before, uh, removing all the same stuff. Nothing really. Uh, by the time we get rid of the muffler and these, it will be about like 75 pounds. Uh, I will be changing the battery. That's coming. Uh, that was in another box over there. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Here we have the front uh, left assembly of the suspension and the brake. Uh, I, I work, I've gone for the base model, so I'm a brokey boy that's not ha that doesn't have the you know painted red caliper that looks great on all the other cars. Instead, we just have the the, the you know whatever this finish is. I don't even know. It's just gray. Um, we might be having a BBK coming. Not not really sure. Might not be able to make it in time. But either way, we all have the new pads coming going in. The arm that we will be replacing though is uh, is uh, is this one is this one we actually built one of these if you remember a while ago so that should be better we have also have a a, a spherical bushing for that one in there it's a little dark uh that one the can of the car over it can't see it but yeah uh small upgrades on the front and then the sway bar should be coming in also very soon and then hopefully get rid of the coilovers and the right head sensor problem we'll have to sort it out so yeah uh that should be it 
Get to work, Alex. Thank you. The bolt and nut and everything on the car is just so much bigger than my Subaru. Yeah. I actually need to get bigger uh, wrench and sockets. <laughs> we don't have enough. And so, actually torques. And torques too. Um, we need to get some better ones to make sure when we uh, torque these, uh, torque these new stock conversions from uh, Motorsport Hardware, we don't break the uh, six point, what's it called? The, the, the Allen heads, right? Yeah, actually, because you, you have to put like over a uh, hundred foot pound of torque over it. So, so like, um, the, really like a regular Allen key is not going to hold that much torque. Yeah, we gotta be So we careful. need to find one of those ones either strong enough or has like a lifetime warranty. So if we do break it, we get new ones. Good. Otherwise, the brake pads are done. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, uh, just need to change your arm, and the front is done. Okay. The back is like four arms need to change, so yeah. that's gonna take a bit. That's gonna be a bit, but yeah. okay, let's get on to it. I took care of the back in like a staggering hour and a half. Look, everything basically that we need to cap out is out. Uh, battery will be happening next. I gotta first do the two subwoofers. That's all I have left, and then we can put in this thing, which is the Cusco rear bar that you know we bought. But here's the thing, though. Those who know Cusco in racing we'll call it uh what's it, what's the name called crushco crushco um because they have this reputation for doing bolting cages that aren't particularly oh, safe it is quality for bolting cages yes yeah. sometimes when you actually have an accident it does more harm to you than help so whether or not i installed this thing is a bit of a you know head scratcher i bought it because i really needed the, the ecbs this can help me mount the harnesses but we actually have a slightly better solution coming. Uh, I'm gonna throw these in just for testing, uh, so I can actually be able to use the harnesses and so on. But uh, but before the actual event, I think we will have something better, and I'll be able to show you guys then. Any of you guys told me on the V1, uh, on the version one, the battery in this car is huge, and therefore we should take it out. And uh, you know, at first I was very reluctant because then you have a battery, uh, you know, change, replace battery light, and you have to go to the dealership try and deal with all that, that BS. Uh, thankfully, or un unfortunately, when I picked up the new car, straight from, battery, straight from the factory, it had a faulty battery and the replaced battery light was on. Uh, the dealership helped me replace the battery with a new one, but they didn't clear the code. So even right now on the, on the dashboard as I'm driving along, the replaced battery light is constantly on. It gives me the perfect excuse to try and get rid of this huge OE battery, which is actually 64 pounds, to replace it with one of these. This is an anti-gravity, uh, OE style battery, so it's it is still kind of like a little heavier, but it has one of these built-in features called the restart feature. So when the battery gets really low on voltage and feels like it's gonna be a little dangerous, it shuts itself off and you won't be able to start the car until you either press this button or use a little remote control, hit it, then it starts and you hit get in the car, start it as normal, and then just keep it running. So let it run and let it recharge up. Very interesting features, built-in jump starting basically. So you don't have to like, oh my God, I gotta get a, get a jump starter or get like a uh, jumper cable, so on and so forth. Very interesting. It's also a lot lighter, this lithium ion. It's about, this will save about 50 pounds over the stock 64 pound battery. So this is weighs about 11, I think something like that, 11 to 12 pounds. It's a little bit expensive, but honestly to save 50 pounds off of this car is pretty sizable and pretty significant. Um, okay, Ooh, oh. much lighter, lighter, eh? Way lighter. So the anti-gravity battery is in, but just, I bought a 47 size and I think it's just a little small. If you see on the side here, there are a few bolt holes for you to put this, for you to use this bracket to hold the battery down. But there was no way we can stretch a battery here and have the positive turnamo be over there. We'll go to TF tomorrow and get that sorted uh, before the event. So the battery will be tied down securely. Update time. Car is, we, have, we got, took the, both the driver's and the passenger's seat up. That was very, very straightforward. Four, four bolt, a clip, and a kind of a slide on little mechanism that this thing for the side seat belt. And that was it. It's pretty easy. Nothing, you know, nothing too tricky. And then we also took, you know, the back section out, put the new battery in. And that's had a really drastic effect on the rear ride height. We do quite look deceptively higher than before. I'm pretty, pretty sure it wasn't like four finger gap before as yeah, yeah. It's definitely not a four finger gap before between the wheel tire and the wheel arches. So I'm pretty sure with all the way that we've taken now, the car's currently riding like a, you know, a bit of a lifted truck, but it's okay. Coilovers will fix that. Um, the front on the front side, the SPL arms on the front is complete. Uh, we bolted some stuff together. They still need to be torqued down and tightened everything. So looks, uh, we did have to put some wheel spacer on just to clear the OE 
shocks. Hopefully the coilovers will fix that very soon. Check this out. Sparco Evo QRT. Comes with a little, nice little pamphlet thingy. That is nice. Thank you to the guys at Sparco USA for sponsoring us with this beautiful pair of racing seats that will be going on. Um, yeah, it should be perfectly my size. I can't wait to try these out. I'm really, really excited. There is the OEM seats over there sitting because they're like 50 pounds each. Definitely, definitely a lot lighter. I think we'd be saving maybe, based on seats alone, probably like between two seats, maybe like something like 80, 80 pounds. Super comfortable, a lot of support from the side that I really felt like the OEM seats, if you want to look at it, doesn't give at all. Like this is where I needed my shoulders during the cornering and you just don't have anything here. Your, your body is like sliding off off this way. Like there are some like supports on the side, but even then, the Sparkle seat is just gonna give you so much more support right on the side. So, so this is this is oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Get out. Get out. Well, the Supra fit in Alex. I think the answer is a yes. Alex is busy doing the final few belts. Passenger seat is also in. The pair of Sparkle Evo QRTs look phenomenal. Just awesome. I love how they look, and I love how in the driver's seat I am. Oof. It, it, the, the, I think the main thing about the seats that I really like is this, this part. On the stock seat, there's nothing here, so when you lean onto it, it your, your, kind of body, your body just falls off. And obviously, you can't run the harnesses. With these Sparco 6 points, obviously, it's supposed to be used with a Hans device, this way to prevent your neck getting more injuries. And in the case of an incident, uh, these are really awesome and can really help you keep your body in the seat. Now, a little bit of, about the interior. Uh, the guys at C17 has helped me make this as well as ooh, this nice little accent piece on the steering wheel and it just makes the overall thing look just a little bit cleaner just a little bit nicer um the stock steering wheel i think feel like it's just at some point like this part i don't quite like how thick it looks so this one little uh, this little red accent does make it look look a little bit nicer look a little bit racier and uh i quite like it M mr alex you call me ricer <laughs> have you seen the blue evo in the back yes you call me ricer God damn. I think our part with the T90 this weekend is just about complete. Uh, as last minute thing, we decided to bolt back the actual, this is the same tow hook that was on the TA90 V1 when I hit the wall. So you can see it's quite rubber marked up and everything, but um, it's a nice carryover just to say, you know, we're back. This is the revival. And uh, the more other thing, the other big main thing we did uh, on the car this weekend is the Sparco interior, uh, seats and harnesses, six point all over. Uh, both are really nice. Definitely a decent amount of weight saving and most importantly, driver safety and uh, confidence for the driver. The back section of the car is stripped out and now we have most of the SPL arms and bunch of parts here in the back for TF to deal with uh, to in the next two days. And then new wheels go on, new suspension go on, and then we go to aero and testing and then with GTA, uh, GTA final battle thingy. That, a button willow. Uh, car looks so far so good. Need definitely still needs a wing, uh, but we've taken out as much weight as we can. That's a pile over there. Um, but this should be a lot faster uh, than version one. Uh, it's even lighter, it's even faster. Uh, should have more arrows, should have more grip, should have, generally speaking, should more everything. I'm so excited. Uh, more to come. Uh, Alex will be taking over filming duty for the next two days. I'll have to go back to school. Um, but yeah, uh, be right back. Hopefully the car is ready very soon and uh, show you guys some more. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.